Released after nearly a month behind bars, Alexei Navalny is undeterred. He headed straight to his office. Of course, we will not give in to any pressure and we will defeat everybody in the near future. And what next? For tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, our plan will be to fight and not to give up. Thank you very much. An example of the resistance he now faces came this past few days in raids on campaign offices right across Russia, as far as Siberia. One activist who didn't cooperate with police was beaten up at Navalny's Moscow office. He was taken to hospital and then had to appear before a court. We had our sign here, headquarters of Alexei Navalny. Here there was a door handle pulled off. Here a lock broken off. They even put bars on all the windows so we can't get back in. Navalny is trying to contest a ban on him standing in the 2018 presidential elections. It's based on his conviction for embezzlement. He says that was a trumped-up charge and it was politically motivated. It carries a five-year suspended jail sentence. Navalny is the most prominent opposition leader and a thorn in the side of Vladimir Putin's presidency. Navalny's election bid started with corruption protests in March. That led to 15 days in jail. The most recent demonstrations that landed him in detention again were right across the country. Hundreds of his supporters were arrested. It's surreal. The police think the elections have already been announced, the candidate Alexei Navalny is already registered and they think we are breaking the rules of campaigning. At the same time, it's being said that Alexei Navalny cannot be registered. There is every likelihood Navalny could end up before the courts again. He says he's been warned that his suspended sentence could become another jail term if he gets on the wrong side of the law again. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Moscow.